All right, guys. <laughs> so I got a Leah's uh, little sweater in here. It was in here, and um, the sun is like kind of hitting the back of my neck. It's really, really hot. So I threw this on just for coverage. Um, we are at Little Caesars right now. We're getting them a uh, pizza because I'm a good dad. You know, this is how we do it. Now, um, my sister's taking care of them, so we're buying them pizzas for all the, my nephews and them and my kids as well. Take them to the kids so they can eat real quick, whatever. And then we're gonna head off right now to. Um, pick up some power uh, doors with uh, all the actuators everything that we need to make it um, power everything so all the power door the doors are gonna be power everything power door locks power windows so now we won't have to reach across and roll down the window like we do in here I'm super excited on that we're gonna try to modernize this car as much as possible and we're already pretty much there next thing I want to do is do a push to start and that'll be it maybe a couple of um, a couple of uh, kill switches and that's it I saw my plans for the car so um, right now we are gonna be headed to Selma which is like an hour and a half away from us we're gonna go pick up these doors complete two doors and uh, we're getting them for hundred and ten dollars hopefully they're cleaner than they look or as clean as they look in the pictures and we will have like the full conversion it's basically plug-and-play throw that in and we will have power doors and power door locks so um, I'm excited about that we're gonna have to rewire the alarm into it but that's easy peasy and um, Super stoked guys. Let's head out there. I'm gonna drop out the pizzas like I said. Let's go All right guys, Chelsea's was putting gas. We didn't film much at all. We already went picked them up We already ate some McDonald's. You know <laughs> Chemensa <laughs> Anyway, um, we got everything packed up in the back. You guys could probably see a little bit All the door or both doors in there. We got all the wiring now. We're gonna head out and We'll start installing these babies All right, guys, we're home. We made it back. Doors are in the back of the truck. We're going to get these all removed. We're going to say goodbye to those. All right, guys, so we're in here. I don't know why you guys can see, but there is a screw right in there. We're going to take that one off. This one has a screw in here. We take that off. This has a retaining clip right there. You guys can see it right there. We pull that off with the screwdriver. Then these have clips on the back, and you guys can hear one right now. They pop off just like that. There's another screw right here. Pull that off and uh, panel comes off. Very, very simple. Then uh, to remove this, you pull up and well, just keep sliding to, to the left, to the left. <laughs> to the left, to the left. Sauce, that comes out just like that. Take that, put it aside. Uh, I'll get a clip for that one. The screw fell out of this one. So, uh, oh no, it's still in there. Okay. So. Just like that, give a little jimmy right there real quick. Alright, you guys can kind of see right there. I got under it enough. And then, just pry out. And that thing falls right out wherever it went. So we're going to save this just in case. For the future, we'll throw that aside. And this handle just pops off. Set that aside. And then uh, last but not least, we'll get our screwdriver. Do this right here. Now, I don't even know what these are for. These don't even work right here. <laughs> I don't even know why they put these. So that just comes off just like that. And then you just finish prying this off. Just like so. And then. Let's see. You guys can kind of see there. All right, so this, you just pry and pull it to the left. To the left, to the left. Like Beyonce. To the left, to the left. And you're good. All right, guys, so we finished uh, pulling out the manual. As you guys can see, um, there's that stick, the rod that um, lets us bring the uh, window up and down. So now no more manual uh, windows. We're going to pull out the other one from the... Uh, power one here which uh, you guys could tell is in here there's the box there and it comes to the harness here which gives it power so that the uh, motor will spin so we're going to get to pulling that one off once we're done with that we could reinstall or replace that one put it in there um, install that one and that side should be done voila guys we got the power uh, motor and uh, mount here for the window from the other door we're going to mount it on our door now and um, once that's in, we can start throwing in the harness, we can start throwing in the uh, 
little box that goes right here the power uh whatever this is called i don't know the power bank i guess you could say i don't know what it's called exactly but um we're gonna mount this up real fast all right guys so what i can tell you guys right now it goes in way easier than it comes out so if you guys can see that we're already in now we just gotta mount it onto the window or mount the window on um we have one two three four five four five screws that mount onto the uh the mount itself and we'll be done after battling with this for like lord knows how long how long it's like 10 30 right now maybe 10 40 i've been at it since like 8 30 ish i want to say and i'm still at this like same piece so that just goes to show you how difficult it was so these um getting these adjusted was really really hard so what i had to do was let the glass loose um the top piece that holds the glass up i did that last so right now this screw right there and the other screw that's on the other side right here are not tied in i'm gonna have to um, roll down the window a little bit later and um tighten those up by hand when i could bring the window back down so um that's what i had to do it's unfortunate i had to do it that way because it would have been easier just to tighten those from the start and then get the rest in but these were just like not having it so i had to put those in first um they would not line up if i did the other the other part first so um yeah next we're gonna mount this the way this mounts is just like so like that then we'll start throwing in the rest of the harness all right guys so so far we got most of the harness in here it's pretty much placed where it needs to go the harness the connector that goes into the fuse box is already in there relay is already in there i gotta get five a um 20 amp uh fuses for the uh, fuse box and then we'll throw those in but for the most part that is done this connector connects to the uh, other side harness the harness runs and connects to there and i also have to connect this to my mirrors and this right here is a ground that i got to connect as well and once that is all done we'll be completely done and finished and then we could throw the panels in but we'll be right back after this commercial break this is day two of installing the uh, power doors or power door actuators and power door all that power stuff power door locks power door windows i pulled off the fender so i can get this uh tucked in nicely this uh rubber piece here and then this this piece down here you guys probably cannot see let me bring a light got our light let me show you guys what's up right here real quick so that uh grommet piece right there that uh shows a little bit of red around the uh, door area here it was um just not in the position that it needed to be so i pulled off the fender and now it's in there it's secure this harness is about to go in so um this harness here plugs into the other side. This just is gonna run around along all this wiring here. So this is what I mean. The other one had a hole exactly just like this, and then it has the hole that goes in here, and uh, you just plug this in. But we're gonna route this in. We're gonna feed this, this harness through. We'll just shove that in, press it in, press it in. We're in this harness here plugs into the door so right there you guys can see that hole this clips in just like so and we're good to go this is my actuator here my actuator has two wires they're in here somewhere right here you guys can see them right there those are supposed to run into this harness here i'm trying to show you guys as much as i can with me being able to work on the car as much as i can as well so all right guys so i figured this whole thing out already um these are wired in i made a harness here this harness adapts to the actual harness itself let me show you guys real fast so we'll turn the key on so if this was open just like so or closed and we press this it would open and it would close so let me show you guys real quick so that's closed right open closed open closed open closed okay guys so i got it all soldered up um taped all up now as well it's connected to the harness here and then um speaker is in right now we soldered everything in there as well so speaker is uh soldered in as you guys could tell there so i did heat shrink it as well we're pretty much done except for um the actuator so i showed you guys it has two wires they're going to lead in here this harness is going to go into the cabin and in the cabin we have to find the two wires that connect in here into the harness through here find them in in the back here somewhere and uh connect the um 
the alarm to them so that way we can open and close the door with our uh, alarm. Yes, I'm wearing the same sweater as yesterday. I took this riding earlier too, but um, we gotta do what we gotta do. <laughs> nah, I left this here, so this is what we're doing. Um, we didn't have anything here, so I took this riding as well. Um, I'm still wearing what I went to go riding in. I haven't changed because I've been working on the car all day. Have not been able to figure this thing out whatsoever until right now. So, if you guys don't, well, I mentioned to you guys earlier we had actuators, right? So, I don't know how to install an alarm whatsoever, but this thing was installed with a, um, what is this called? A 451M, so with a relay. The harness that went to the relay, I cut up, and now I'm not using that anymore the harness that i have here let me move this light so you guys can see a little bit better so the harness that comes from the alarm itself is connected into this uh, two wire pin here we're gonna solder these in just so i don't have to worry about them coming loose because if they come loose i'm not gonna have my switch guys third day round three look at all this wiring and junk that we got out of the car so look at all this car is finally complete i'm gonna show you guys right now how the windows roll down, how the locks work. But before I do so, I want you guys to do me a favor. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you're coming back and you're a new subscriber, hit the like button for me. This has taken a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of dedication, a lot of learning, a lot of everything, blood, sweat, not tears, but um, <laughs> it's been a mission. I've been trying to make this as clean as I can. The only thing left uh, I have to do is clean, what? Is clean the um, door panels. Is themselves and then um get this uh panel um all wrapped up because i don't know exactly what I'm, what I'm gonna do yet i don't know if to go with red again or if i'm gonna do something different but you gotta stay tuned for that so um hit the subscribe button hit the little post notifications and you guys will see a video on that soon so um let me just show you guys okay so we're in neutral Watch the uh, switch here, the little, uh, if I hit the lock button, lock is down, unlock is up, both of them are unlocked. Let me show you guys the windows now, so if I hit this button here, it'll lock that right window, so that right window will not come down, it will not come down, bring this back over, it'll bring the window down, wait, what? How come you don't come down? This was not connected, so I just gotta connect it and everything will work. Can't believe I forgot the main connector. I'm an idiot. Sauce in. Everything is gonna work now, so. Just like so. That goes back up. No. Driver's side. And that rolls down all the way automatically. And then we bring it back up. Sauce, perfect. Give me a thumbs up, guys. I spent a lot of time, like I said, a lot of effort, a lot of hours here, and uh, I'm finally getting, well, I finally finished up. I'm so excited over this, like super excited. You guys have no idea. Um, it was a pain in the ass having to go over there and roll down the window manually. Now I could just roll it up or roll it down whenever I want, whenever I feel like it. People would come to my door and I'd have to, why'd you die on me? That's weird, the thing never does that to me. Anyway, um. People come up to my door and I'm right there rolling down the window. Police, when they pull me over, I'm right there. <laughs> um, overall, I am happy, like I said, except for the uh, paneling here or the um, cover for the panel. It's a little bit ugly. Other thing is going to be these um, electric, uh, whatever these are called. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like hella bootleg. Someone like put some halibondo on there or something or like some clay or something. Because these things always tend to break right there where you guys can see that crack. And in the bottom as well. So I'm going to have to find a good a good one at the junkyard soon and uh, throw that one in. But for the most part, I'm digging this. I'm feeling it. I love how it looks with the uh, tweeters. And uh, we'll probably get some new tweeters for it soon. Um, speakers are kickers right now. I did an uh, install video on those. But um, for most part, guys, we're done here. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to call it a night. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Like I said, if you're new here, hit the little uh, watermark there for me. Um, hit the post notifications if you want um, 
all the content coming to my channel. We will be doing more videos soon. I'm planning to do, go down to two days at work so I can make more videos for you guys. Um, more coming for the hatch. Um, no plans for the truck. No plans for the BMW besides um, figuring out why it's still smoking. There's no more smell of rat in here. And uh, yeah, guys, that'll wrap it up. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let's get out of here. Deuces.